Alright, so I got everything installed. Um, I got the two electrical cords running through the side of the door to the side panels in the car to hook up. The HHO out goes to the bottom side of the car. The bottom down here and up next to the steering column is where it needs to go. The problem is where I have it hooked up. Let me grab this tube real quick. Let's see. All right, so here's the T. Here's this. Let's go like this. Whoops. These two would hook up like this, basically. Here on the PCV valve. If you follow this hose down, black hose down, it goes to the valve. Um, this would go in there. That yellow or the other tubing would connect to here. Let's go into there. The HHO would go in here. When the cars and all that valve, you have a huge suction. It was actually collapsing my reservoir. So, to fix it, I drilled I drilled a little hole under the cap there. So, as long as I'm not idle, this doesn't collapse like this. was literally just crumpling down. With that little hole, it helps. And once it gets up to about 1,500, 2,000 RPMs, the vacuum's almost gone. Once you hit 3,000, you can actually plug that hole with your finger, and it crushes the bottle just a little bit, which is fine. Um, I don't know what else to do to get it to get into the engine. I was thinking about using a PCV pipe for the bubble reservoir, but I don't know what that would do. It would actually just suck up all the water. I know it wouldn't crush the pipe because it's so strong. Um, originally, I thought you could hook up the HHO to this line and tee off this, but this actually sucks backwards to the top side right here. So this one blows, and in, in this that where I actually had it connected to blows to the bottom side of the throttle body. So that's why if there's idle, it sucks a lot from there, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, the other option was to drill right here, seal it for the HHON right next to the, the butterfly. I was hoping to avoid doing that because, you know, if I ever want to take it off, I'll have to get another one of these. I know they don't cost much, but it's a pain to swap them in and out all the time. Um, I just had a theory earlier that since this actually sucks so far to tee off this right now and idle, I tested on idle, it sucks down and over this way. So maybe when I'm not idle, it would actually suck air from this into the air intake and over, which would work pretty good. Our front, I have it disconnected. I only had it on for about 30 minutes. The problem was the stuff melted right next to the, uh, the manifold right there, exhaust manifold or whatever. So I'll have to get some. I'm going to get some of this black tubing, which has been sitting here since I put it in fixed my PCV valve. So, yeah, that's all there is. So that's the next step. I'm going to do a test when I get off work later on today. Take this off, rev it, and see if it actually sucks instead of, or blows up and over rather than somehow it sucks this way. I always thought this is where you'd always connect it to, but we'll see.